Hey y'all, thanks for stopping by. So, the internet is really important for communication. Now, I think we take it for granted a lot just how easy it is to send a message to somebody or call somebody or anything like that. It's just really simple in our modern age to send a message. Musk has a company called Starlink, which is this satellite internet stuff, and it's, it's really convenient if you don't have infrastructure in your area. You know, sometimes it can seem like it's your only option, but you know, it's better than nothing. Now, I've used satellite internet before, it was through DirecTV, and while it wasn't very fast, it was still the internet. You know, you could still send emails, you could still put in job applications, watch videos, it was, it worked. Now, at the start of this conflict in Ukraine, Musk sent a ton of his Starlink terminals over there because you need to communicate. You have to send these messages back and forth to people, you have to yeah, you just have to stay in that constant line of communication with each other during these sort of intense moments over there. And the allegations that have come against him is that recently he purposely turned off their Starlink communication systems during an offensive raid by the Ukrainians to destroy some Russian military infrastructure. Musk turned this off during the raid, which caused it to fail. And then this infrastructure then attacked civilian architecture killed a couple civilians, and, you know, just the regular destruction that you would expect from war. And this is causing some concerns about the amount of influence that Elon Musk has. Because, I mean, you know, he does own a lot of companies. He's got his hands in a lot of pies. You know, he's got the, the car companies, which have the factories. You know, he's got an AI image generator, which is running now. And, you know, whatever your feelings about AI are. You know, he's got the construction companies with Boring and all that, you know, Starlink. He just owns a lot of stuff. He's got a lot of influence around the world. And I find it, I've always found it weird that this doesn't seem to get questioned as much as certain other single people who own a lot. Like if this was Bill Gates, if Bill Gates, Microsoft, whatever, if they turned off the internet in Ukraine because I don't like the way you're fighting. We need to come to an amicable solution between countries. You would never have heard the end of it from these right-wing producers, these talking heads. It, Bill Gates is trying to change the world politics. He's trying to meddle with geopolitical wars in other countries that aren't America. And Why is Musk any different? Why do you give him this pass? I just don't understand it. You know? He owns so much. He has this insane amount of influence for a single person. And, you know, it's not even that it's a single person. If this was a corporation, you know, if this was like Chiquita or something like that, you know, and they're taking over countries in the 50s, like, we all agree that that's bad. That you have this much influence in the affairs of nation states. Why are we giving it a pass to this one guy? Because, you know... I gotta be honest, if I give you infrastructure to defend yourself, and then you take the fight further, like, that's just the gamble you have to make as someone who's giving these sort of tools to people. Sure, we're gonna hope that, you know, you don't take it too far, but what do you think people are gonna do when you give them weapons? What do you think people are gonna do when you give them communication tools? They're gonna use them to their full advantage. And I'm sorry... But when you're dealing with a defensive sort of effort like this, at a certain point, you have to stop defending. You have to push an aggression towards your opponent to let them know they need to stop. Because if you just keep defending yourself, eventually you're going to run out of ground. If you keep stepping back, you're eventually going to have your back to the wall. So yes, I'm all for pushing forward in a defensive effort. Because that's how you get people to stop. But this isn't my companies. This isn't my internet. So I guess, you know, a lot of people will say because he owns it, he can do whatever he wants with it. I think he's on the fast track to getting nationalized. I think the U.S. should step in and do something about it. This isn't illegal what he did, but it probably should be. But that's just how I feel about it. I don't know. I guess until the next time he decides to disrupt world politics like this, though, y'all try to have a good day.